Hi everyone. Once again, thank you very much for clicking on my video today. My name is Christine. Welcome to the budget box. Welcome back to the budget box. Welcome to my channel. Sorry, had to adjust my chair. I got one of those rolly chairs on hardwood floors. So, um, excuse me for one moment. Go lay down. Go ahead. My older dog is being very needy today. This is what happens when mama is home. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it. So today is going to be part two of my cash stuffing of the check that I got today. I just filmed my, um, my part one. Um, and I'll get part one posted up. This will probably go up in the next couple days. And then right after this, I'll do savings challenges. And then uh, later on this afternoon, I need to work on some Etsy orders. So I'll probably just do a quick work with me so you guys can kind of see my process and how I come up with what I do and and all that fun and, and, and good stuff. So, um, but thanks for coming back. I do appreciate it. So quick housekeeping, like I always do. Sorry, got to do it. <laughs> um, subscribe, like, bell, share. Done. Okay. All right. I did my spiel. Um, so <laughs> I just, I went through the motions. YouTube just likes you to say all of those great things to promote your channel. Anyway. Okay. So I will be finishing my last three binders today. Um, I have a lot of binders. So what I do is I split them. I do three in in one um, video and then three in another, and then I move on to my um, to my uh, savings challenges. So I'm going to be stuffing um, my last three binders today, which consists of my events, my birthdays, and holidays. So let's start with events. There's not a I don't matter of fact I don't even know. Let's see. I don't even think I have any. Do I have anything going into this binder? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So, um, baby shower. Really not for a baby shower. It was supposed to be for my daughter's baby shower. She didn't want a baby shower. So, now she wants something for my granddaughter for later on when she gets a little older. Anyway, there is $60 in here. I will recount it just to make sure. Um, 50 and 60 when the time comes and she wants me to buy it, then I will buy it. <laughs> so baby shower, not really a baby shower. Okay. Uh, date night. I got 35 in here right now. We're trying to plan a date night and just the weekends are just crazy. And now we're going into May and it's just going to be, it's going to be very, very busy. Very, very busy. So we're just going to leave the 35, 20, um, 30. 2535. Okay. And eventually we even have a gift cards and yeah, we just we we just have to make our schedule sync. You know, I work every other weekend. He's a musician, so he plays some weekends. We're going on vacation. Oh my gosh. Someday when we retire, we'll just be able to pick up and go, but that's just not happening anytime soon. Okay, vacation, I took, as a matter of fact, I will update this. I took this money out. I had $600 in here and I put it towards my credit card because I paid for our Airbnb and um, our plane tickets. My daughter graduates, um, my youngest daughter graduates college in Arizona in May. So we're leaving sometime in May um, to go down there for her graduation. So we needed a bunch of stuff. So I took that money out. I wanted to make a big fat payment on my credit card and cover those charges. So this is empty for now. Anyway, at some point I'll start saving for our next vacation, whatever that may be. Okay. And anniversary. Anniversary is going to get stuffed. Five and six. Our anniversary is in August. I usually budget around $100. And whether we get gifts or we go out to movie, whatever it is, then that's what we do. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I've got 54 in here right now. Let's see. Um, let's do an orange. 
and we'll just keep plugging away at this and that's what it's all about. This is the, did I say 50? Four, yes. This is the patience and consistency and discipline I was talking about in, in my last video. Um, that sense of I, I need to fill it right now is just something that you, you, you have to know yourself in order to, I hate to use the word, but train yourself to say, you know what? $6 is enough. That's what I have this week. And that is okay. Um, instead of, you know, looking at everybody on social media or, or the news and how people are making millions and I'll never make millions, but $6 a paycheck. So in August, I, I'm, I can go and enjoy time with my husband that I can do. And once I took the system on my world completely changed and my husband will attest to that. I was a mess when it came to money. I was a mess. I was a friggin mess. My parents never taught me about it. I was, it was, it was bad. It was really, really, really bad. Scrolling through Facebook one day, I caught wind of the budget mom and I sat and I literally binged watched her videos all weekend long. And then it just, it clicked. It, it just, it just clicked. And then it was a matter of patience and discipline. It was a matter of saying no to my children when I didn't have the money. So I had, for me, money has always been an emotional trigger. So once I learned that my kids are not going to die if I tell them, no, you can't go. Now that they're older, it's a little bit easier. I, I understand it when they're younger or when they're teenagers and you want to give them everything. And, but you have to understand something that you're not doing them any good by being broke. You're not teaching them anything. So once I was able to, my oldest daughter has always been very good naturally with her money. Always. She knew that we didn't have anything. She, she, she managed to get through college. She's always been naturally very, very, maybe she just saw how, you know, me and my husband struggled. So, but my younger daughter, once I got, I got on this system, I started teaching her and now she has her own binder and she puts herself, she pays for all of her own expenses at college. Um, and we've been preparing her for her, her, um, her tuition. She pays her own rent, her own gas, her own food, her all of her own living expenses. She pays for all of it. Um, we pay for her basic necessities because she is a full-time college student. So I get that, but she works two jobs and she, she works her butt off. So for those of you that are struggling, just trying to get through, how am I going to make this work? The first six months suck. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you that much right now. This is this is a long-term life altering process. For the first six months, my pages look like I, I couldn't even begin to tell you. Maybe someday I'll I'll bring out my first my first couple months worth of binders. They were a mess. I was crossing out and erasing and redoing this and redoing that, but. I got myself onto a routine and now it's natural. Now I start to freak out when I don't do my budget. Now, if I go two, three, two, three days past my, my payday, I'm like freaking out. Now it's the opposite. Now I don't want to say that I'm, I'm driven into it, but now I start to feel the effects when, when I feel out of control with my money, where last time feeling out of control felt natural to me. Now the pendulum has swung. So just keep watching videos. Keep, you're going to find a process that works for you. Some people like one binder. They put all their money in a binder and they're done. I tried that. It didn't work for me. So I tried a couple of different binders and now I'm on seven binders because I need to know where all of my money is going. Every, every dollar needs to have a home. That's the only way that I now feel in control of my money. Um, and I'm glad I found it at a very late age. I really did. So if you're young and you're looking for something, 
just keep at it. Just keep at it and don't, don't give it up. Don't, you'll find something, you will, uh, but you just have got to keep trying. So that's my spiel. That's my soapbox thing for this video. Okay, so we'll move on. Every couple of videos or so, I, I do that spiel just as a kind of go get him, tiger, that type thing. Okay, so let's do holidays. <laughs> let's see what's good in holidays. I'm not stuffing Christmas this time out. I'm trying to put more money aside for vacation. Um, so I will not be stuffing any of my Christmas, but... Now, after vacation is done, obviously not saving for vacation anymore so I can filter that money back into Christmas again. And that's the way, that's the way it works. Um, so I'm only putting five into my Mother's Day and then I think I'll be good. I have $125 for my mother-in-law and my daughter. Um, I'll get them something nice, flowers, you know, I'll just, I'll get them something nice for Mother's Day. But I think $125 is plenty between both of them. Okay. Um, let me get my pen and mark that off. Mother's Day is done. Okay. Father's Day gets 10. Okay. So let's do 10 there. 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So one more payday because I budget $100 for him. Um, one more payday in May and right, was that right? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah. So one more payday in May and he's fully funded. He'll be, he'll be done. I set my budget. This is what I have. Um, this is what I can afford. And trust me, a hundred dollars is more than enough. Father's Day is done. Yay. Father's Day. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Now these last um, four or five in the back here are all Christmas. I already have, um, I budget $250 per immediate family member. So my husband, my daughter, um, family, um, like extended family, I'll send them a little something and, and my older daughter and her husband, each one of them get $250. Um, so right now I'm sitting at $84 per person. So I've been very diligent since the beginning of January. But again, now that Father's Day will be done, I can roll that money into Christmas. And by the end of the year, usually in the month of December, I'm good. Or, or November, I'm, I'm fully funded in everything that I need to go. So if there's anything extra that I want to get in December, I can usually do with that or start putting money away for January. So, um, so Christmas will not be, will not be stuffed this particular go around. Okay. Birthdays. Let's get into birthdays. Okay. So my husband, my husband, Bruce, he was, uh, his birthday was in February. I will not stuff this again until January. Now this one here, um, like I said, my son-in-law, his birthday is in May. As a matter of fact, it's next week. So I need to get him something. But his thing broke, so I had to cut it open. And so I just have to revinyl him a new one. But he's he's done. Um, I put another $11 in there. It got me to $99, but we got him to $100. So I put his money in my wallet, and I will go and probably get him a gift card or something like that. Okay, so let's go on. The next birthday after that is my grandson. Um, his birthday is the end of May, and I've only budgeted $50 for him. He's one and he'll be two. Um, I can buy $50 worth of stuff from, I won't, but $50 from stuff from the um, um, dollar store and he'll be happy with that. So he's into cars, like little matchbox cars. So I thought I would get him, I, I got him one a couple of weeks ago, but it had like 16 cars in it. I think I'm going to get him like a big one that's got like 50 cars in it or something like that. Loves his matchbox cars. Oh my gosh. You could sit there for an hour and just play with them. So I think maybe I'm going to go that or a Hot Wheels something or another. I don't know. We'll figure out something for $50 because a one-year-old, a two-year-old only needs $50. Um, okay. So let's see where we're going to be at here. 
20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. Whoop, there's a five in there. I knew that there was something wrong. Okay. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. Okay, so he is finished. My um, youngest daughter, she gets six. She also, she gets 100 on her birthdays. Um, let's see, what color are we going to do? Let's do red. Um, whoops, this one is going up. Um, so 54 there. Whoops. Have to admit one thing though, wearing these gloves, man, you can count money fast. <laughs> 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Her birthday's in August, so I will probably just give her money. It's what they do these days. All right, so let's see. So Lane is done, Callie is done. So this is my older daughter. Um, her birthday's in October, so we'll do red again. 427 plus 5 gives her 45. See, by the time October comes around, everybody gets a little slice of the pie and I'm done. And I'm not, uh, I'm not having to worry about in October having to budget a hundred dollars out of my paycheck. I mean, that's just, I don't know how I've done it in the past. I didn't do it in the past. That's, I'll be honest with you. I didn't. It was a mess. Okay. So family is going to get five. This is my extended family, um, my husband's extended family. They don't do a whole lot of um, gift exchanging, but you know, I'll send her. A little, I'll send them a little something. Um, so this is going to be forty-five and forty-five. Okay. Okay. Uh, miscellaneous gifts. I think I have that on here. Yes. So miscellaneous gifts is going to get five. And this is for um, baby shower, wedding, anything along those lines. So 20, 30, 40, and 45. I think what I didn't do though, which is fine. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, the, the only thing I haven't done yet was make a envelope for my granddaughter. But you know what? She's only two weeks old, so I don't really think she's worried about it right now. Her birthday's not until next April. <laughs> so I don't really think I have to worry too much about that right now. <laughs> okay, Gia, family, miscellaneous gifts. Yay! And I think that is it. What is this? Oh, this was my other Christmas binder. Okay. So I actually have two holiday binders. I have this one um, that's got some Christmas in it and then um, holidays at the beginning of the year. And then I have this one because that one got too full. Um, that's got my grandkids in them and then miscellaneous holiday so if we decided that we wanted to do something for 4th of July, if we wanted to do something for Memorial Day, that this is where I would take that money from. And then I have one for miscellaneous Thanksgiving. If we don't host Thanksgiving, then if we need it for gas money or so on and so forth. And then miscellaneous Christmas is for like wrapping paper and tape and boxes and all of that types of good stuff. But again, not doing Christmas right now. So um so that one I'm not going to have to worry about. So that's where we're at. I think we're in really decent shape right now. Um, so this is, hold on. Okay, let's see. 
I have money over here and I just want to make sure that I know where it's going. Okay, so this is Josh's money for his birthday gift. So this, so I do not forget, again, the accountability part. I'm going to put that right now in my, um, in my wallet. I'll put it right over here. And then this is for Louis Cosequin. So when I go to Walmart tomorrow, when I do my grocery shopping, I will stop by Walmart and I will pick up his Cosequin. And this is what it takes. This is what it takes for me to stay organized. Um, trust me, there are some weeks after two weeks, I, I've got receipts, I've got change, I've got, and you just need to reset yourself. So this is set. Um, this is my dog food one. I need to revinyl that. But other than that, I think we're in good shape. This was a this was pretty smooth. I was almost on it this time. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much again for sticking with me and seeing what my journey is all about and listening to my soapbox spiels. And I do appreciate all of you. Um, happy budgeting. Have a great week or the rest of the week, whenever you get time to, to view this video. Um, give me some subscribes, some likes, pass me on. Um, I do greatly appreciate it. And we will talk to you again soon. Bye, everybody.